Kendrick Perkins is an absolute moron. He's a woke idiot who constantly shoves his foot directly into his mouth. But this time, it has all backfired for ESPN, especially after J.J. Reddick confronted him on first take. The very same program where he first floated out his theory that the MVP voters are racist, that white people are getting white privilege in MVP voting. The very fact that only four white people have won MVP in the last, I don't know, 40, 45 years. And then in the past 33 years, only three white people have won the MVP award. That should be enough to tell you that, nah, there's probably not a whole lot of white privilege going on, especially in today's modern day woke NBA. But no, that's what Kendrick Perkins tried to say. And when he was finally confronted live on air by J.J. Reddick, that has opened the floodgates for criticism towards ESPN, towards their race baiting, towards their racist narratives, and for letting idiots, dumb fucks like Kendrick Perkins say whatever he wants, run his mouth continuously. Well, now they're getting a lot of heat over Kendrick Perkins' lies. Uh, so much so that they actually had to issue a live on-air apology today. Uh, now, they didn't make Kendrick Perkins say it because he wasn't on the program today. But nevertheless, to start first take, they had to apologize and issue a correction for what Kendrick Perkins said. Look at this. This is Clay Travis. ESPN had to apologize because Kendrick Perkins falsely said on air, 80% of NBA MVP voters are white. The fake MVP racism argument continues to blow up on ESPN's face. Listen to this. I want to correct something here from yesterday's show. When Kendrick Perkins said 80% of NBA voters for the MVP award are white, the NBA publicly announces the voters each year and after review, it is clear the panel is much more diverse than what was portrayed by Kendrick Perkins, and we wanted to make sure that we corrected that today. Oh, yeah, congratulations. You know, after he's been on air, after he's spouting his lies, after he's trying to say a bunch of people are racist, let's correct it a day after and issue an apology. Uh, this is blowing up very, very badly. It's getting a lot of people's attention to some of the things that Kendrick Perkins has said. And it, just so you understand what this is all about, it's all about Nikola Jokic. It's all about Denver Nuggets Nikola Jokic, who has won the last two MVP awards. This season, he's having this year as they're the top seed in the Western Conference. He's averaging averaging a triple-double, like 25, uh, like 25, 13, and 10, somewhere around that. An incredible, ridiculous season for the best team in the West, and he's likely going to win again. Kendrick Perkins tried to bring up that, oh, you know what I mean? These, these racist MVP voters, they just, they gave advantage to the white man in the history of the NBA MVP award. Around 16, 17% of the people that were awarded MVP were white. It's about the same number of white people that are currently in the NBA right now. And for Kendrick Perkins to try to insinuate that is bullshit. This is what ESPN has been doing. ESPN has been doing this for a long time. I don't know if J.J. Redick realized the shitstorm that was going to occur because he called it out. Now, he right was right to call it out 1,000%. But now ESPN is probably looking at J.J. Redick and saying, man, you brought us a real problem by pointing all of this out on air because it just really, it, it put gasoline on this fire. Because Kendrick Perkins is a room temperature IQ racist fucktard. That, that's who he is. He's a woke idiot who claims everything is about race. That's what he tries to say. And he's getting called out because there's no way you can make that argument. Now you got J.J. Reddick calling him out. You got Charles Barkley calling him out. You got other commentators calling him out and saying this is a problem with ESPN. They let their people get away with this, which forced them into issuing an embarrassing apology before the show started today. We'll see what's next for Kendrick Perkins. We'll see how much worse this continues to get for woke ESPN. But hey, they've brought it upon themselves. When you hire people like that and let them run their stupid fucking mouths, this is what happens. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.